Midnight Muses here and welcome back to my channel. Um, for all of you guys it's going to seem like a day but for me it's been a full week since the last time that I have filmed. Um, just because of right now I'm finishing the editing of my box charm video. I sh it should be live but while I'm filming this but there were some issues I might have to go back to it. Anyways, not the point. Um, but that was over a week ago. I think I filmed that last week Monday and right now it's the following Tuesday. Uh, I didn't upload while my family was away, which in the description of that video, I, I said a little bit about why and I said I would talk about more about it today, but I know people don't always look at description uh, boxes. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't upload while they were gone and that's just because I do all of my editing and my uploading and everything on my phone. And honestly, I know it's paranoid and I know I probably watch way too much true crime, but I didn't feel comfortable being home alone without access to my phone if I needed to for upwards of three, four hours while things are processing and whatnot. So um, I just waited until my parents got back and then did that. I did like basic editing on that video. It took like hours and hours of like trying to fit it all together and, and do that. But in terms of like, the processing, the processing is what takes the time. There's the processing the video once it's done to save it, which takes like two to three hours and then there's the uploading it to YouTube which takes another few hours so it was just I didn't want to waste that time not having access to my phone in case of an emergency so no video while they were gone I'm sorry um but I'm here now um as I said for you guys it'll be a day so it's like two videos back to back um, but for me, it's a week. Um, so first of all, I actually want to start off on something that I want to talk about last week that I got in the mail right after my box charm, and that is these guys here. Uh, no, I don't have my Ipsy for this month. Actually, these are bonuses, and I wanted to take a moment to give a little shout out to Ipsy and their customer service who really um, did go above and beyond. Uh, I know I mentioned it a little bit that I had that really severe reaction to one of the products that they gave me. Uh, I call it my zombie lips, and for anyone that saw me during that time, it was pretty horrific. Um, and I was back and forth with them for a long time. It took a minute for them to understand that it was not an allergic reaction that happened with me. It was just the product itself was bad because all the ingredients are the same as all a bunch of other lip balms that I have that are totally fine, like including the one that I have on my lips right now. The ingredients to that, to that lip balm are like identical, like down the list. Um, and this is fine. Like I use this every day. Um, and this is, I think it's a Tony Moly one. My sister got it for me. I love it. Anyways. Um, so I was, it, it was something else, the product was off, and I had watched a YouTube video, someone else was like, I'm not even going to try this, this looks wrong. When I looked at mine, I was like, oh god, mine looks like that. And my concern with them was like, please let other people know that this might not be a safe product to use. And, but they were so great, we emailed back and forth so much, and they sent me some stuff as an apology for not just not being able to use that one product, but for the issue that came of it, because of course I couldn't post any photos, I couldn't film any videos, like while it was healing, it was a big mess. Um, these are all products that I know I'm not allergic to. I did open them just because, obviously, I actually didn't use any of them though, because I did want to use them on camera, but they were, <laughs> but they asked me if I wanted a highlighter, and I said, yeah, sure, I mean, like, I appreciate it, like, you don't have to send me anything in replacement. I'm more concerned with like other people using the product and having the issue. Um, so they sent me that, but then they sent me some other goodies as well. So they sent me the Estate Do Me. I have my lights a little bit lower today, so I'm hoping that will help with being able to show off products. Um, but it's a Do Me Baked Highlight Powder in Pearl. So I'm gonna use that today. I got the Face Cleanser in Atlantic, and I think that they sent me this because I had left a really good review on how much I loved this product, and I actually ran out of it a little while ago. I am using the Doc Dr. Brands right now that I'm loving, and I especially love that in my boxy charm, I got the matching cream for it, so I am going to continue using that for a little while just because I'm, you know, still testing and going through it, and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm so happy to have this back because I did really, really love it. And then this, and this is another product that I think they gave me because, again, I gave a really good review on this brand. Um, I didn't I didn't get the same color, which is actually really nice because I still have a ton of the other color that I have. But this is the, I think it's Nomad. Um, it just, oh, sorry, Furless Loose Eyeshadow Pigment in Sinister. Sorry, Furless Cosmetics. 
yes, Furless Cosmetics, my bad, sorry, mixing up brands, anyway, so they gave me it in, as I said, the color is called Sinister, and it's this, like, really nice, kind of, like, deep bronzy color, which is so perfect for fall, um, I'm going to try and utilize everything that they sent me in today's look, this is just going to be a chatting with you guys, getting ready, just because I've been away for a while, my mom's got me some stuff, from Korea that I'm going to show you while I'm putting things on, but I figure we might as well get started. Um, and then also, um, as an update, I know again, it, one day for you, week for me, I am still using this right now every day. Uh, it still is making my face feel kind of strange and I have been getting a little bit more acne than lately, but at the same time, I've also been getting a little bit more body acne than, than I usually do. Again, my skin's gotten oilier, so I don't know what's causing what it does make my face feel gross I've now started using just absolutely as little as possible and I find that that is helping I ha also will say that like we're about a week and a bit into me using this now and it does feel better than it did um because originally it was just like straight grease monkey face and I did really really not like it at all I'm just using the no problem primer by the way um I didn't like it at all now I won't go as far as saying that I like it I just don't hate it as much and then I'm gonna jump into I did get a new foundation I got the covergirl true blend in matte and the color I got is light nude it's like a perfect match for my skin right now and as you know covergirl has gone cruelty free which is great because I was having way too much trouble trying to make my summer foundation work as a fall foundation just because my skin got too cool toned too fast and it was very problematic um this does have that thing where it makes you look pale when you first put it on but it really is because I actually am that pale and when my face no longer looks really red it looks pale but it does also look paler on camera too even with the lights lowered it still looks paler on camera. It also looks way more full coverage than it is. It's really funny because, like, the girl that sold it to me was like, oh, yeah, it's a really nice full coverage. Like, because I told her I wanted, like, more medium light. And she's like, well, this is full, but, I mean, you can share it out with stuff. I mean, I use about one and a half, two pumps, and I can see my skin through it. Like, it's really pretty, and I love it, and it's perfect for me. And I think it's more of a, like, buildable to full, but on its own, it's not full. On its own, it's definitely a medium, because my skin, I'm, I'm sorry, my mirror's right here. But, like, my skin looks really nice, but it doesn't look cakey and covered, and it looks like my skin. It does not look like I have foundation on. As I said, that's one of those tricks that on camera it does give you that kind of like oh wow she just put on a full face and, and but if you saw me in person it'd be like oh her skin just looks really clear today that's nice it has a very skin like finish it's and it's not matte like i know it says that it's the matte let's say yeah matte made it's it's not matte it's definitely a natural skin finish i wouldn't go as far as calling it satin like, it's more along the satin matte route, but yeah, it just looks like my skin. It looks like my skin. Well, it looks like my skin when it's not being grease monkey, so I really appreciate it. But there is a little bit of luminosity. Like, you can see the luminosity that's still very much in my skin. And I didn't use a luminizing primer today, so it does not have that super matte finish for sure. And then today, I'm also sitting on the other side of... Sorry, I got concealer in my eye. Um, I'm sitting on the other side of my beauty table today so you can see my bookcase behind me which is actually what I wanted I know the ring lights hitting it so I'm trying to like sit so that it doesn't block oh I really got concealer in my eyeball that's not fun use the Becca Hydra Mist water powder thing that I love oh so much um yeah trying to block it up but I this is what I wanted to have is like my background was my books. I'm going to try and do it a little bit better. Move some of the stuff that's hanging off my door. As you can see, Sean has his Leafs jersey there. He's getting all ready for the hockey to start up again. The moment it gets slightly cold outside, I was like, oh, leaf time. Time for hockey. You know, living in Canada. That's how we are. 
You're in summer or you're in leaf season. That's how you are. Um, also, I have gone back to using my Pretty Vulgar bronzer because I have gotten a little bit fairer. And also, I really am trying to do the whole Samantha Ravindall thing where it's, you get all these new products and it's great and I love them and I use them and it's wonderful, but I am finding that it's like, oh, I got a new bronzer. I'm going to use that one from now on and then I leave my other ones to die no matter how much... I loved them previously and it's like no no you still have bronzer that you love why aren't you using that why are you only using the new stuff and then before you know it that stuff's expired and now it's gone to waste and no one else can enjoy it so I'm trying to if I didn't really like the old one as much then that's fine I will I'm trying to pass that on to someone else as quickly as I can so that I can just enjoy the new product that I do actually really like or if I do really like the old product, then yeah, try out the new one when I get it in. That's fine. But then put it to the side and, or at least don't use it every single day, you know, like mix it up with whatever. And actually I found that switching up my brushes really helped with the Pretty Vulgar bronzer because this stuff I found that originally when I was using it with like my wider contour brush that it really would just like lay on and then you'd have to like blend it out like crazy. But by using my little mini bronzer contour brush that I have from Lexi that I love. I have two of these. I love them so much. Um, that I just, it blends it out so beautifully and so softly. It even looks more natural than the Tarte, which I've been raving about for ages now. So I'm really, really happy to have this. I'm just going to dump it back in my box. Oh, I shook the camera. I'm sorry. Um, and then for blush today, I'm going to use my Laura Geller. Again, getting back into these products that I got and I loved and then I just let sit. So it's like, no, no, let's go back to using you. I've been using nothing but that Halomar palette since I got it. And don't get me wrong, I love that thing. I love that it has those three shades in there. It's beautiful. I am also getting into my winter skin, so they are rapidly getting to be too dark. Whereas like this, I can layer this on as much as I want. And it still looks natural and fresh and beautiful and beautiful. And I'm finding with the Alamar that while I absolutely love it, it is getting to be a little bit too much. Where even if I lightly dab and then put on and blend it out, that it's like, wow, I'm wearing a lot of blush today. Which just means that I'm getting too fair. And they sent me the medium one, not the light one. So I think that's coming into play. Oh my god, this is pink. <laughs> not really one for pink highlighters. Look at this guy. You can, it's, yeah, well, it looks a little bit lighter on camera, but you can see that it is matching the very pink sides. This is, whew, okay, well, um, let's give it a go and see how we do. Okay, it's a little bit subtle, but I can see it. It's like, that, like, I already have a little bit of highlight from the blush, so you can see that there is a difference. Yeah, it is a more natural highlighter than I generally like to go for, but I think it's okay. We don't always want to be from the heavens and, oh, you can build it up. That's good. But I think too, just because the shade of it, especially since I have cool toned skin, that it's like, it just wants to blend into my skin. That's all right. I like it. What I might do, just because it's me and I like to be beaming at all times, is add a little bit of my Ofra Star Island. Just at the very tops right here just to give it a little yeah that's an extra yeah the extra bright out there look that I really enjoy and then I'm gonna spritz my face real quick same stuff as usual all right and while that's drying before I start doing my eyeshadow I will show you some of the things that I got from my mama so she got me a cat, of course, because, I mean, I, I know Salem's been on video, I think only once, but I have a very fat black cat who I'm absolutely in love with. So I love this, and I actually have, you can't see them because they're higher up on the shelves, but I've had friends where, when they've traveled, <laughs> they've come back and brought me little cat statues. So I'm quite happy to add him to my collection of cats. And she also got me a piece of lava rock in the shape of this dude here. Let me see if you can see him, yeah. And it's from Jeju Island. They were having some kind of festival holiday thing while they were there. Uh, she also got me something for when Sean and I have our place. 
There's little cats and it's like pot holders so you can like pick up your pots without burning yourself, which I'm prone to doing. I just grab them with my hands. So I'm so happy. And they're little black cats and there's two of them. And I can't wait to have our place so I can use those because I'm so excited. And then um, she got me some random uh, nail supplies. They're not like anything I've ever seen. They're like nail brushes to like paint on and do art, but they're really thick and they're silicone and... I've never seen that. Like, being a nail technician, I've never seen anything like this before. So it's like, okay, that's that's going to be interesting. We'll try that out. Um, and then I got a spoon and some chopsticks, which I'm happy for. I could live just using chopsticks for everything. And then big, round soup spoons are, like, a weird, deep love of mine that I have. And then, best of all, very, very best of all, I already cuddled with it last night is oh backwards i got this guy like it's a little black cat it's so cute and i love it and i like this is this is like when sean's out here it's like okay i'm gonna cuddle with my kitty oh my gosh i love it i actually scared myself this morning when i went to roll out of bed because salem does sleep with me in my bed a lot and i went to roll over and this was there and i flew backwards thinking that i was rolling onto my cat so very good job that in my tired state i actually could not tell the difference between that and my actual cats um oh hang on the video is getting we're at the 16 minute mark i know that usually when we get to 18 it likes to do a weird stop thing and then i'll go off audio so hang on, i'll be right back all right and we're back here again so what i'm going to use today for my eyeshadow like i am going to try and use this pigment and see what i can do with it um so I'm kind of getting thrown because I did want to use the Violet Voss that I got in the Boxy Charm, and um, if you guys watched that video before this one, you'll know I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I have been using it um, more since that video. I've tried to use it every day just to try and get as much work and looks out of it as I can. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to use it today just because I really want to use that brown and it's really warm and I've learned that my biggest issue actually is with the warm colors in this palette. So like when I did my video I used this guy and this guy and this guy. This I actually like. It's funny because I did see Manu MEA's video and he said the only color he didn't like was the black. I actually really like it but here's why. No it's not very pigmented. Um, but it's super, super blendable and it's so, so good for deepening another shade. And I actually don't have a black like that in my like vast collection because I'm prone to wanting like those deep blacks because I do smoky eyes a lot. But I really like this because if you just want to deepen a lighter shade that you have, you can without losing that color. So I really actually love that one. Um, their shimmers are actually pretty nice. They're not bad. They're not the greatest I've ever used, but they're not bad. They're a little bit sheer, but again, they give you... A unique look that I don't get from a lot of my other palettes. I'm not mad at them. And actually, the Dusty Rose, this matte color, I love. Like, it is stunning. So when I do a more pinky look, which I was originally going to do because um, I knew that this was supposed to be a kind of pinky toned highlighter. I didn't realize it was going to be that pink, but I knew it was going to be pink. I was going to use these. But since this is just so, like brown with almost like hints of like green and but then it has like warm tones in it too I don't think that's gonna work so let me see what else I have over here but it's weird it's like a cool toned warm toned thing it's like duo chrome that's both cool and warm and I don't know what direction to go in I think I'm just gonna use my yes please can you even see that the yes please palette it's so hard turning the lights down and it's still super bright but it has just more more warmth in there and then maybe I'll throw in a little bit of that black if I feel like I need to deepen something since this is a deep color so let's just get into it uh, there are no color names on the ColourPop palettes so I'm just gonna dive in and but this is more of a chatty video anyway than like a hey I'm doing a makeup tutorial it's I'm not um I mean if you like it and and, and you have questions obviously always ask I will always answer I do well I don't check my comments as much as I probably should but it's because I don't really get them very often and then usually it's 
my cousin Tracy, who I love to death, will just like spam comment um, after she's watched a video. By the way, Tracy, because I know you're going to be watching this, like I need to find a way <laughs> to get one of those pillows for Eva because something tells me that the next time she comes up here, that's going to find its way into her suitcase. And I really, really love it and I need to keep it for myself. So we need to get our butts on Amazon or somewhere or Etsy or whatever and find her a fluffy fat black cat pillow that she can snuggle with as well because that will be that will be the way um another thing I want to talk about is how I'm learning to edit and kind of like where I want to go in terms of my editing um which also goes into the why I didn't upload last week was keeping my phone kind of free for any kind of an emergency situation and that is that I don't think I'm going to be doing anything besides editing and uploading on my phone. I have found a program that I really really like. Um, it's got great tutorials and for me to actually buy the premium version was like two dollars and ninety nine cents which you know and is is really the the top of what I can afford right now but it's nice because it allows me to upload in 4k and it has tutorials on how to do so much and so I am learning quite a bit with that and I don't like I'm not going to even have my computer to use until Sean and I get our place because my computer is actually at his place because I did live there for six months and then but I don't have any room to put it back in my room because I just have too many books for that um, and my books take preference over a computer if I'm being honest like I have my parents downstairs but I don't know how to get my files from my phone onto there and I don't have the money to get the camera equipment that I would need to be able to do that um, which because I would also then not just have to get a better cam because I have a camera don't get me wrong I enjoy it but it's an older camera and everything now is in higher resolution. I can't do that on that camera and I would have to get a mic and, you know, different kinds of lighting and a whole bunch of different stuff. It would be kind of a big ordeal for me to do that and I can't afford that right now and realistically I'm not going to be able to afford that for a little while because even when Sean and I get our place, yeah, I might have a better setup for filming and whatnot because that, well, that's the dream anyway. It's that we're getting married. And we're looking for a place. I'm not going to have money for that. Like, I'm trying to get a job right now, but the job is literally for us to get a place and for our wedding. So, I think I'm going to just stick with my phone stuff. This is so pretty. I don't know how well it's coming across on screen. I'm just using my little BH brush. It's just It just says number 9 on it. But it's really pretty. It's not getting everywhere which I kind of thought that it would since it is a loose pigment but I'm really just taking up the smallest amounts and tapping off the excess and then just painting it on and it's so nice oh I like this I really do I really like it it's really pretty oh thank you Ipsy you guys are amazing like really need to give like just the biggest shout out to their customer service because they did just go above and beyond it was, it, it really was wonderful. I've never had customer service like that. I was so impressed. Um, pillows. So, so impressed. So happy with them. And it's one of those things where I know I've been talking for a long time about, am I going to keep my Ipsy? Am I going to get rid of my Ipsy? Because, I mean, it's hard paying what you're paying for mostly sample sized products. You get really good brushes from them. That's true. And I do really enjoy that. But you are getting samples for the most part. Outside of the brushes, you're getting samples every now and again you'll get a full size and they have their add-ons and I do really like their add-ons because they have their add-ons and they have things that I would never be able to afford so I've also been enjoying that new feature as well but when it comes down to it quite simply is their customer service makes me want to stay with them with how well they they treated me and just the way that everything was it was I can't I can't stop seeing how above and beyond they were with their customer service like the amount of emails and it was just and they weren't like little like oh sorry this happened to you here pick something for us to have it was they went in depth they're like what exactly happened are you okay like what product was it um how and and they would ask me like how it's doing now like is it healing 
oh my gosh, it's still not healing. Okay, well, like, they really, really, like, and then not only that, it wasn't just, like, a robot sending messages either. Like, they were actually giving me names, like, okay, I'm this person, this is my job within the company, and this is how I'm going to make this better. This is who I'll bring it to to discuss. Like, it was so, so professional. I was just, I was so, so impressed. So, yeah. For anyone who is thinking about getting Ipsy, as I said, just for their customer service alone, I would say go for it. And they have been working on improving what they're giving you. I actually just got an email from them the other day about how they're doing some other thing. Now, I know that they have the Ipsy, what do they call it? It's like Ipsy Plus or something. That's only in the States right now, but I do believe that they're supposed to be rolling that out. Um, in other places soon, so I'll let you know when that becomes international, or at least Canada-wide, so, but, oops, of course I have to mix, mess up my eyeliner, uh, is it super noticeable? Yes, it is. Do I care? No, I'm not going anywhere today. I don't. <laughs> That's generally how it is for me. It's like, oh, I messed up. Does it matter? No. Oh my gosh, I forgot... My mascara. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta put my brows on anyway, so I will throw on my brows and my mascara and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back and as you can see, I just finished off my look. I threw on my mascara, my brows. I do have a little note to make. Um, the NYX uh, Precision Brow Pencil that I have in black is finally doing the right color. It's not blue anymore. It's that like deep, dark, really ashy brownie black shade that I love so much that all of their other eyebrow products in black are. I don't know why, like the first few times that I used it, it was coming out navy. Um, I did tell a friend about it who sells their products and she was like, oh shoot, that's weird. She goes, she, and, and she said she was having the weird thing where she used their tester and she goes, one line was the normal black color. She goes, but, the, when, but when she did the next line, it did come out with a very, very blue tone to it. So I think there might be something up with... <laughs> The formula on this one um I do really love it especially now that it's the right shade but I'm also nervous knowing that I found it in the top of mine but she found hers closer to the bottom of her testers so is it going to turn blue again at some point and I don't know how long I'm gonna have blue hair for so we'll see um but I have one final thing to talk about before we go um also, oh, two things, sorry, two things, is one, um, the IGK, that Mistress Balm or whatever it is that I got in my Boxy Lux, um, which I can throw a picture here of that, just so you know what I'm talking about, though I did, as I said, talk about it just in my last video. Um, that stuff is so amazing, and I know I said in that video that um, I'm going to try next time to come on to just have my hair in its natural curls just using the balm because I love how it makes them look, and so this is more of that kind of look. Um, what I like to do that I found is my favorite way with it is when my hair is drying, but still pretty, pretty damp, I'll use a pea size, I'll throw it all in. It really helps it to dry like better. And then when it's still slightly damp, but mostly dry and you can see where it's still gotten a little bit frizzy, then I'll get a little bit more and I'll add a little bit more. And it just, it looks so good. I missed a spot back here. You can see, but like, it looks so nice. My hair feels healthy. It looks healthy. It looks like I've, like, styled it even though I haven't. I'm so happy with it. Like, I did not know there was a product that would work that well in my hair. I always struggle trying to find things that make my curls look nice, but that's not too heavy, but then also isn't so lightweight that it's just like, Whoo. So this is that perfect product for me where it's just heavy enough that, you know, I get the nice ringlets without the frizz, but not so heavy that it's weighed down and I don't get my curls or so light that it's, 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 it's everywhere. It's just, I cannot speak highly enough about that product. If you have curly hair and you're like me where you've got that kind of like, they're pretty tight ringlets, but not like, it's not like kinky tight, but like borders on that. A plus. And also, I don't have as much hair as I used to ever since I got fusion extensions when I was like, I think 20, 21. Um, my hair has never been as thick as it was. I have tons of it, but it's never been as thick. So this really helps me feel like I have my hair back like how I used to. So I love it. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is this sucker here. 
This is Stephen King, The Institute. This is going to be the next book on my docket. I am going to be doing a book video very soon as I'm just about finished my last book that I've been talking about needing to finish for, I think, two months now. I've been a very busy, busy bee, but I actually am just about finished now, so I am going to be coming back and doing a book review on that, um, which is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, for anyone that may have forgotten or um, didn't see those videos. Um... But I am going to read this before I read the Neil, Neil Gaiman book that I got, or Neil Gaiman Terry Pratchett book that I got for my birthday, because Sean got me Good Omens, which, you know, I've been watching the show and loving it, but I actually stopped watching, I think, at the third episode, because I like, no, no, no. I really want to go and read the books so that I can enjoy it on screen in a different way, because I really love when he makes his shows, because they tend to be very um, well done, and there's nothing to me like watching a well-made show based off of a well-written book and just especially since he's behind it I think if he wasn't behind it I'd feel differently and like I mean Stardust was very different from the book but Neverwhere the tv show that was made it was a it was low budget but it was like spot on to the book it was magnificent and from what I hear Good Omens is in that route just like um American Gods is so I'm very much wanting to read Good Omens and then I'll go back to the show but doing this first and the reason why I'm reading this first is not just because it came out this week Sean was so nice to pick it up for me um we got it at Walmart 40% off for anyone who's wondering a lot of the time they will do new releases the same week they're released for 40% off it's a great way to get in a book to get a book at a much more affordable price if you are on a tighter budget but you want to own it especially in hardcover um it, this is in Canada is forty dollars. We paid twenty, or he paid twenty three for it. So it made a huge difference. Um, anyways, I'm reading this because my best friend Ashley out in um, New Brunswick uh, is going to be reading this as part of her October book club, and it has been years and years since we have read the same book. We actually have pretty different taste in books, which I really love because then we when we talk, it's like oh, I read this and it was like this and that. We can we have a great back and forth, but it is also really nice when we're reading the same thing because then we're still going to have different thoughts and opinions on it. And I just, it's so, I love when it's like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about, but this is how that part made me feel. You know, it's so, so cool. It's so great. So I'm so happy to be, to have this, knowing that she's getting her hands on it any day as well um, so that we can have our discussion on a book that we've both read. It is long. I know some people get daunted by big books. I'm the opposite. I just can't wait to crack into them. How many pages in total is this guy? It is hefty. Nope, that's the author's note. There are 557 pages in here, which is great for me that if I read at my normal pace, like if I'm into it and I love it, this is something that I can do in one, maybe two days. Um, of course, depending on how much time I have. But if I can give myself a day to just read, the sucker's mine. Um, looking forward to it. I've heard so much about it. Actually, I first heard about it at the beginning of the year. I thought it actually got released at the beginning of the year. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to find this. I have to buy it. Even Sean was like, oh my gosh, I need this book. Um, just because it's like a dark version of Harry Potter. And don't get me wrong, Harry Potter is dark. Like, I'm not saying it's not. But it is very much a book that you can read as a child growing up. And then as you get into the later books, okay, well, then maybe be a teenager before you read the later books. But, you know, it's it's it's, it's different. This is like, you're reading this and you're like, yeah, no, this is, this is, this might be about a child going to an institution and like weird magic stuff. But it's definitely a horror novel. Definitely should be read, read by adults. So I'm so, so, so looking forward to it. Um... But yeah, that is all for this video. I don't know how long it is because I think I broke up the video two or three times at this point. So it doesn't look long to me. But by the time I'm done editing, watch it be half an hour. Um, I keep trying to make them in like the 20 minute mark. It never happens. My boxy charm video was a good 40, 45 minutes. Um, but that was a boxy lux. And you do get a lot more with that. There's a lot more to talk about, a lot more to go through. So they're going to be longer. But uh, it was just, it was nice to kind of catch you guys up. As I said, I know it feels like a day for you. For me, it's a whole week. Um, I'm so happy to be back on camera and talking. Um, this is it's awesome for me. And I love that I actually have some of my books behind me. Some of them are covered up. I have this thing where I like, 
I keep trying to cover that light, but that frame behind me, there are, there's more books behind that and <laughs> everywhere. Um, but I, I really want to have my books be my background. So I'm going to slowly keep moving things around to the point where I can just have my bookshelf as my background. Cause I think that would be great. And sparklers. I don't know why I have sparklers. Ignore that. Um, Anyways, it was nice talking to you guys. Even though you're not talking back, I feel like I'm having a conversation. Um, and I'm also starting to notice I'm starting to get slowly, slowly uh, more views per video, which is amazing. And like, yes, yeah, roughly 14 views a video. But considering that my average was six for the longest time, that's more than double that. I'm so, so happy for the people that are watching. If you like this, please hit like and if you want to keep you know following me around on the random stuff that i do and the random videos that i make hit subscribe I'm, I'm so happy and so grateful that you're here um and yeah anyways i'll see you in my next one all right bye